So this is a question that I got from one of my students and a big shout out goes to my Skillshare student. I don't know if you want me to say his name, so I won't hear, but he asked a really good question. So his question was, suppose you have a bone setup here and the bone setup I'm looking at is the IK setup. So this has two bones and this bone is meant to be the end bone. And then I have this bone here that's set up to be the target. So if I go ahead and look at my IK constraints, you can see that the bone target set up to be 0 0.008, uh, which is this bone. And then the uh, it's still parented to that bone. And that I have a pole target, like if you're if you know anything about like if you know anything about doing rigging, you know you need the pole target to keep your elbow in the right place. But the actual uh, target here, not the pole target, but the actual target, which is typically what we use as a handle to move around the body. If I hit R for rotate, nothing happens. But if I hit G, also nothing happens. So this is not what you want. You want to be able to move this bone around and have the entire bone, the, whole, the entire arm move. So if you look at if you look at this and I move any of these bones around here that are not part of this IK chain, um, you can see that they all appear to be moving like they have a parent. So it's not crazy that this bone is still parented. But if I look at the constraints here, you can see that uh, this bone does have a parent, but this bone appears to not have a parent. But that's not actually the case. So if I go into the bone menu here, bone properties menu, and I look at relations, you can see that it actually does have a parent, bone, bone 0 0.07. So if I look here at bone 0, at bone 0 0.07, uh, that's the parent, but it's actually not in the IK constraints. So it is a parent, and to fix that, all we need to do is go to the edit menu, and we look at that same constraint under relations. And if I select that bone, we see it's a parent, I just hit the X here to get rid of it. Now if I hit G for grab and move it around, it moves it around. And... Let's make sure that's correct here. Uh, yep. So make sure just that is selected. Yep, and it moves around on its own. So now if we go back to pose mode and I hit G for grab, it works like it's supposed to work. So the problem here is that the parenting that you actually wanted to fix, you have to do in edit mode. If you don't do it in edit mode, then you don't really have access to that kind of parent. You have access to IK constraints and the parents that exist in the IK solver, but not that. So all you have to do is go to the edit mode, clear the parent. You can use the speed key or you can do it like I just did it. And then you have the ability to move it around like normal. So to all the people out there, I hope this helps uh, when you're doing that class or you're doing any kind of rigging.